Um, maxim number two, foundational. Women are turned on by displays of male power. Again, number one, maxim number one is game is learn charisma. So that's what game is foundationally. It is learn charisma. You have some that you show up with, but it is a, it is a specialty that can be learned. Um, it, there is definitely an A plus B equals C formula to picking up women. A lot of guys, by all means, the vast majority of men stumble into pussy. They don't know how they have a wife. They don't know what makes girls happy, sad, mad, any glad, anything. They truly just kind of like move through life and any of that, if it falls in their lap, great. And if not, that's okay too, because they have other interests. That's not a primary goal or interest of theirs. But for guys in, in this world, they tend to like women. They tend to have questions. They want to understand. Um, they're very enthusiastic about women, um, sex, relationships, all of it. They find it interesting. Um, but maximum number two is women are turned on by displays of male power. And yesterday there was a lot of discussion on Twitter about hobbies and how girls tend to try to avoid men whose hobby is video games. And it was a completely made up survey, but it does make a good point is it's not a hobby that lends itself to, you know, you're, you're in a bad position. It's kind of like being on a phone. You're like, you're like hunched over. You're like all day. You're in a dark room. T guys tend to be by themselves, even if they're connected on the internet. It's not, visually appealing and you know for girls aesthetics matter and he's also gone for 8 10 12 20 hours a day doing this on his own and girls don't tend to like it again and our rule you know in game is you know you can have any hobby that you want be it bodybuilding or, or chronic masturbation or video games or bitcoin you can have it you just don't talk about it and generally it'll be okay it's kind of like the the dad bod issue like you spend three hours a day at the gym well she thinks you go up there and play basketball and hang out with your buddies um and vape when actually you're training your ass off but she doesn't need to know any of that as long as it doesn't affect her life she's happy so that's a real deal with hobbies but vb let me hit this right, get on to the uh, attractive male hobbies. And I thought it was pretty interesting because we talk about displays of male power. And guys always ask me, what exactly is a display of male power? And it's anything that, show, I mean, girls do like to see guys physically fight, lift things, shove, work, work on things that they can't work on. You got to remember, like, even like turning a wrench, most girls can't turn a wrench. They're not strong enough to loosen even a bolt on anything. You have to understand the discrepancy in strength. So attractive male hobbies like outlawry, piracy, insurgency, you know, there's a reason like Castro and all these, uh, all these guys down South are always like, you know, girls want, put them on their shirts because the, the outlawry, the, the insurgency, the display of male power, um, it's, it's exciting. It's visually appealing, you know, and the idea of it turns them on. Breaking horses, sailing. For some reason, sailing seems to be across the board. And maybe, I don't know, it's the mastery of a ship. It's the open ocean. It's open water, which is always dangerous. Um, falconry, which I think is interesting. Aviation. Girls always love dudes that are pilots and planes. And, and it conveys a certain wealth and um, success in your lifestyle. Like we always say, rich guys love to fly right into the ground. You know, number one, number one, um, I don't know if it's true. Number one profession for pilots who die in aircraft um, are doctors. You know, they, they get the MD and get some money and they drive it into the ground. Extreme travel. And I think this means like climbing to the top of Everest, going into the outback. I mean, Things that are like way out on that edge. And I would say like, that's the beginning. Then you start getting into really niche stuff where 
um, you're like in South America, you're, you're, uh, you're in areas that have not been explored that much, at least by white guys. Um, Chateau ownership. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and then smuggling. I mean, again, all of these um, project power. You're mastering yourself. You're mastering the elements. In some cases where you're leading an expedition or leading a team, you're mastering other men. Um, it It's, or, or you're at least leading from the front. Again, anything that you can display. And then you draw this back. And I thought, you know, it was interesting because I thought that's that was what got my interest for today. Um, they stretched the definition of a hobby. But again, we're talking about displays of male power. That's what we're looking for. And you can do this even, I mean, if you're an expert in some photography, art, anything that puts you at the front of the room, that is a good thing. It shows that you mastered your interest and you're displayed as an expert. It is a display of male power. Again, if you've ever done any public speaking, it's that simple. You know, the leader, the lead singer of a band gets more pussy than the drummer or the lead guitarist. There's reasons for this. Again, it, they're all displays of male power. One has a little bit more power than the others. And again, if you want to apply this in your neighborhood, anything that makes you a, a local celebrity or puts you at the front of the room is a display of power. Um, and that is useful. It's Again, if you see a guy that owns a bar or a nightclub or He's going to be well known. He is at the front of the room. It is a display of male power, less so than if he owns a tire repair store. That because it's not doesn't carry that type of cachet. But again, these are displays of male power, and hobbies can also be a display of male power, uh, be it whatever you know. And some girl, it's interesting. You can't really put your thumb on this, but you know, some girls consider it like weightlifting, which again, make no mistake, we think everybody, you know, goes to the gym when virtually no one actually goes to the gym. But some girls see it as a positive, some girls see it as a negative because anything that takes up your time um, and takes, it's like some of these guys say, it takes attention away from her. She's not interested. So that's the real deal. Maxim number two, women are turned on by displays of male power. Get yourself in positions where you can display that male power. One of the easiest ways simply being an expert, a matter expert in something, anything that put anything that puts you at the front of the room will be beneficial to you and to your sex life.